Tears of the Kingdom is officially busted. It's been just over a week since the game has been released, and we already had a pretty amazing dupe glitch that I outlined in another video. Now, an even faster, even easier dupe glitch has been discovered, making rupee and material farming here in Tears of the Kingdom an absolute joke. To go along with the new dupe glitch, I've also discovered an incredibly easy way to get a diamond as soon as you touch down on Hyrule from the Sky Islands. Indeed, I started a new game just to know absolutely for sure that this diamond was obtainable at any time during a playthrough, and indeed, with only four hearts, minimum stamina, and nothing else in the game done, I was able to collect this diamond. So today, I'll show you how to perform the dupe glitch yourself, but more importantly, I'll also outline how you can get that easy early game diamond. Put the two together, and you'll never have to worry about rupees ever again until Nintendo inevitably patches this out. Let's not waste any more time and get right into it. First things first, I learned this duplication trick thanks to this video by Pyben. I've linked his video in the description below. Definitely give it a watch and a like because man, this trick is so broken. Also, this glitch only works on version 1.1.1 of the game, which is the most recent patch as of the time of this recording. Keep an eye on the video description below as I will be updating it in case this trick is patched out in the future. I think we should begin by going to grab that diamond. All we need to do is head east to this spot here, Tarm Point. Here you can see me marking it on my map before I've even unlocked any of the other towers in the game. My map is all still mysterious and dark, but you can still mark it on there nonetheless and go there. And now as you can see, I simply ran across Hyrule from Lookout Landing all the way to the eastern tip and reached Tarm Point. There is a cave you can enter from the top here and you'll drop down and see a shrine in the distance. To get there, you need to carefully swim from rock to rock to refill your stamina. The tide goes up and down and when it's at its lowest, you can kind of stand on these rocks and then jump off and glide to the next. Before long, you'll get to the end and reach the shrine. Once inside, there's only one thing to find, a chest containing a diamond. Just like that, you have your diamond. Looking at my raw gameplay video, it took me only 26 minutes to get from receiving the paraglider at Lookout Landing to reaching this shrine and getting the diamond. And now we're ready to perform the glitch. We require only two other things to perform the duplication, a shield and any other material. Make sure you only have one of that other material. Now we just need to make sure the item we want to duplicate is in the last slot of our inventory. We just picked up the diamond so we know it's in our last slot, but if you want to get something else to the last slot, simply hold it, throw it to the ground, pick it up, and it will be last. We could do this glitch literally anywhere at any time, so hey, let's do it right here in the shrine. Once you're set up, do a shield surf by holding ZL then pressing X and A at the same time. While in midair, press plus to enter your menu. Hold the one material and whatever material you wanna duplicate. So in our case right now, just hold the one diamond. Now unpause and you'll see the fish and diamond fall out of you. Pick them up and you'll see you have two diamonds now. Now repeat the process, make sure the diamonds are in your last slot and repeat the exact same thing, but now you're gonna hold two diamonds. Those two diamonds are now four diamonds, and we rinse and repeat for as long as you want. Hold your four diamonds, and now you have eight. That's eight diamonds in less than a minute, good for 4,000 rupees if sold to any shop. Looking at my raw gameplay video, it took me only 27 minutes and 25 seconds 
to get from receiving the paraglider at Lookout Landing to reaching the shrine and duping 4,000 rupees worth of diamonds. Of course, you're gonna wanna hold on to at least one diamond for a continued duping, but just a few minutes of performing this trick should secure you with enough rupees to last you a long, long, long time, even if Nintendo patches this out next week. And that's gonna wrap it up for today. If you like this video and wanna see more Tears of the Kingdom guides and content, please hit that like button and subscribe to my channel. I'm still working on that non-exploit, non-glitch, totally pure rupee farming guide, and it should be out very soon, alongside many other videos that I currently have in the works as well. But that's all for today, so until next time, thanks so much for watching everyone, and take care.